Ibn Qudama rahmatullah alayhi has made mention of an incident in Kitab al-Tawwabin. Very, very brilliant incident. Very, very brilliant. There was a person by the name of Mahdi who lived the life of sin, vice, evil, womanizing, a very fleshy and flamboyant lifestyle. He would indulge in every crime you would think of. He would perpetrate every offense you've heard of. He gets and is having a night with woman and wine and he omits his Zohar prayer, his Asr prayer, his Maghrib prayer and the sun sets and it gets close to Isha. So his slave girl has a sense of concern and she says to herself that I've got to do something to open the eyes of my master. So she devises a plan and she gets a flame, a live coal burning flame and she comes and she burns the leg of her master. Fan Zaja immediately gives him a shock and he stands up and he said, Maadihi, what is this? So she said, Jamratum min nari dunya, fakeifa tasna ubi nari l'akhira. Jamratum min nari dunya, fakeifa tasna ubi nari l'akhira. This is but a flame of this world. Heaven alone knows what would happen to you when the flames of hell are hurled towards you. Verily hell will hurl sparks towards you the size of palaces. It hit home. He realized the time has come and he has to draw the line and he needs to change his priorities. He then decided to abandon a life of sin and embrace a life of simplicity motivated by the consciousness of Allah and he devoted his life. Once two prominent scholars came to visit him, namely Fudayl ibn Ayyad and Sufyan ibn Uyayna, who enjoyed the privilege of being referred to as the Muhaddith of the Haram of Mecca. So he came to visit him and he seen the man was a downgraded, living a simple life, hand to mouth, breaking even, gave up all the fleshy, all the exclusive, all the affluent lifestyle did away with all the fancy things of life. So Fudayl ibn Ayat and Sufyan ibn Uyayna engaged him and said, Listen, إِنَّهُ لَمْ يَدَعْ أَحَدٌ لِلَّهِ شَيْئًا إِلَّا عَوَّذَهُ اللَّهُ خَيْرًا مِّنْهُ فَمَا عَوَّذَكَ مِمَّا تَرَكْتَ لَهُ It has been the system of Allah that whenever anyone forsakes anything for the pleasure of Allah, then Allah always replaces it with something better. You have given up your sinful life. What has Allah given you back? He said, Ar-rida bima ana fihi. I lived a sinful, affluent life, but wallah, I was the most miserable, depressed person you've ever met. I've now given up that sinful, affluent life and I've embraced a compliant, simple life and I'm the most happy person you've ever met in your life. 